A any advice for somebody else who wants to do something like this? Right. I, if you have any desire to do it, I would try to do it. Like it doesn't, you, you could just do it for yourself, even, you know, on GarageBand. It's like what, for me, the process is, is the, kind of the most important thing. Like try to figure out what would you do and how would you do it? What would it sound like? Try to pre, just try to imagine it and see what your personalized, you know, vision of that would be. That to me is an artistic pursuit that's really, really worthwhile as a, as a musician, but as, as a person in a way, right? Because you want to explore where you're at at that time and, and see, yeah, we, we've all heard solo performances of something, right? So boom, you got it. What are you going to do? Hmm. <laughs> it's not a bad thing to do for anybody. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, guitar Man. players, you know, that's the thing. Guitar players are kind of more used to it, I think, you know, because you do either do solo gigs or, you know, say if you're, you know, duo gigs or something where you have to take care of business more, there's times where you're actually really playing solo. Yeah. It's, it's really, and I'm sure every time you all do it, you learn something more about what, what works, what's appropriate, what, what you need to get together more. And it's a real learning situation. Absolutely. Yeah. 